Christians everywhere give thanks that over 2,000 years ago, God sent his only son into the world to be the savior of all mankind. In a world filled with secrets and hidden agendas, there's one revelation that has sent shockwaves through the Christian community. It's not just regular politics. It's a discovery that's got Christians feeling a bit weird. Are we in for something that could change the way we see things? Melania and Donald Trump might have a message that's way more intense than we thought. Donald Trump has decided to run for the White House presidency once again, marking his second attempt. In his previous campaign, he gained substantial support by highlighting his strong belief in God. Now, as he gears up for the 2024 race, he is emphasizing this connection to appeal not only to Americans in general, but specifically to Christians who trust him, believing it will boost his chances of winning. Trump's recent message to Christians revolves around his commitment to their support. He promises policies that will protect their interests, while also safeguarding his own faith during his presidential campaign. Some spiritual individuals, including an Italian who claims to have received a prophecy in the 1980s, foresee Trump's victory. This prophecy suggested that a man named Trump would bring America back to religion. Such spiritual endorsements have led to media speculations about whether God chose Trump to be the president. As the 2024 race unfolds, many Christians are putting their faith in Trump's return and potential victory. Trump himself expresses confidence that God is with him in this political journey. During his recent campaign, he cautioned Christians against resorting to violence, urging them to redirect their energy into rallying support for him. This warning, coupled with his backstory, has stirred concerns among Americans. Despite solid support from evangelicals, Trump is working to retain their loyalty encouraging them to actively seek more support. Trump's stark message about the potential consequences of not supporting him has created a sense of urgency. He warns that failing to garner enough support could lead to the unraveling of everything Christians have achieved. According to him, evangelical leaders could play a crucial role by urging their congregations and followers to vote. Trump emphasizes the importance of every vote claiming that not doing so could result in a challenging period for the country with potential losses for individuals. The crux of Trump's message is that Christians need his support to protect them from attacks they have historically faced. He positions himself as a powerful defender of Christian values, suggesting that without his leadership, they would be vulnerable. Trump's assertion that as long as there is faith in God, individuals will find comfort and strength underscores his belief in the pivotal role of religion in shaping the nation's identity. Melania Trump, the former first lady, is also woven into this narrative. Her role during Trump's presidency, particularly her initiatives like the Be Best campaign focused on children's well-being, adds a personal touch to Trump's image. Melania's presence paints Trump as a family-oriented figure dedicated to improving society. Some supporters and evangelicals believe that God has chosen Trump for the leadership of the country. This viewpoint finds validation in biblical scriptures, particularly Daniel chapter 2, verse 2, so the king summoned the magicians, enchanters, sorcerers, and astrologers to tell him what he had dreamed. When they came in and stood before the king, and Romans chapter 13, verse 1, let every person be subordinate to the higher authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been established by God, which suggests that leaders are appointed by God. While these beliefs resonate with Trump's base, they have faced opposition from some world leaders who do not share the same views and policies. Trump has also injected humor into his religious discussions, once joking that only Jesus could secure support from House Republicans to win the speakership. He emphasized the challenge of meeting the four-vote threshold, suggesting that only Jesus can accomplish such a feat. Trump's public declaration of his faith and his hope that his power would protect his faith underscore his open acknowledgement of religious principles. He often encourages people to trust in God, emphasizing the existence of a higher power. The question of why people believe in God is explored, with the answer rooted in the deep, innate sense of his presence in their lives. Trump's perspective on asking for forgiveness is highlighted, where he expresses a desire to be responsible for his actions rather than seeking forgiveness from God. This contrasts with many individuals who prefer to ask for forgiveness for their sins. The idea that one should be accountable for their actions is presented as a personal philosophy for Trump. According to the idea of natural law, if you do something wrong, you'll face consequences. There's no escaping it. Even Donald Trump seeks God's guidance to stay on the right path. And many others feel the same. When influential people make wrong decisions, it has a negative impact on the world. 
believing in God is seen as a source of innate morality, as opposed to a chaotic world without purpose. Concepts like soul, intelligence, love, art, and altruism, according to this perspective, couldn't have emerged without an intelligent and benevolent force behind them. In crucial moments, individuals, including someone like Trump, rely on intelligence and soul to make important decisions. The belief is that decisions, big or small, should be guided by a higher power. While Trump has used religious language during his presidency and surrounded himself with evangelical leaders, Americans don't generally perceive him as extremely religious. According to a Pew Research Center survey, the majority view him as not too religious or not at all religious. Only 7% see him as very religious. When it comes to Trump's religious identity, 44% of respondents see him as a Christian, with 33% saying he's Protestant, 8% Catholic, and 2% just Christian. On the other hand, 16% believe he has no religion, with 2% considering him an atheist and 13% describing his faith as nothing in particular. Trump, in expressing his appreciation for God, has mentioned treasuring all the Bibles he has received, whether bought or given. He affirms that he would never do anything negative to the Bible, keeping, storing, or giving it away when received through the mail. In terms of Trump's religious affiliation, he mentioned in an interview that he no longer considers himself a Presbyterian, the church in which he was confirmed several times. He now identifies as a non-denominational Christian. During the COVID-19 outbreak, he turned to virtual church services, a practice he believed many Americans also adopted. A poll by the Public Religion Research Institute suggests that most Americans don't perceive Trump as having strong religious beliefs. About 40% believe he uses religion for political reasons, while 59% of evangelicals who voted for him think he has strong beliefs in some ways. Trump's decision to disassociate from a mainline denomination aligns with a broader cultural trend in the United States, where changing religious identification is common. Amidst discussions about Donald Trump's religious beliefs and his political journey, Melania Trump's presence in the public eye brings a familial touch to Trump's image. Her involvement in charitable activities and engagements with various communities project an image of a first lady dedicated to the betterment of society. While not overtly religious, her actions align with broader values associated with compassion and community well-being. In the realm of faith and spirituality, Melania has been present at key events, including visits to religious sites during official trips. Her public appearances alongside Donald Trump often include moments of reflection and prayer, contributing to the perception of a First Lady engaged with spiritual aspects. During the challenging times of the COVID-19 pandemic, Melania, like many Americans, turned to virtual church services. This shared experience of seeking solace and faith during difficult moments further connects her to the broader American public. In the broader cultural trend of changing religious identification, Melania's personal beliefs or stance are less explicitly discussed. However, her role as a public figure is intertwined with the broader societal landscape, reflecting a nuanced approach to faith and morality. People changing their political affiliations, also known colloquially as switching, is common, especially in a country like America with many choices. This shift can be dramatic or subtle, often happening when individuals take religion seriously and see it as a crucial part of their identity, as is the case in the United States. Donald Trump, the former president, claims to have instilled a belief in God among many Americans through his public declaration of faith. According to him, this has given Christians the courage to openly express their beliefs, feeling protected under his leadership. Rumors persist about Trump's motivations for running for president a second time but the race is still ongoing and people are waiting to see the promises and actions he puts forth to garner support from the Christian community. A glance at the timeline of Trump's involvement in politics reveals a prevalence of presidential aspirations dating back to the 1988 election. Trump has switched party affiliations, identifying as a Democrat in 2004 and later rejoining the Republican Party. Despite early polls positioning him as a leading candidate for the 2012 election, Trump opted not to pursue an official campaign after an unofficial one. In 2013, Trump spoke at the Conservative Political Action Conference, and there were suggestions for him to run for governor of New York in 2014. In the lead-up to the 2016 election, Trump's campaign officially kicked off in 2015. His controversial statements on immigration and other topics drew both media attention and criticism. 
Donald Trump made history in 2017 by becoming the first U.S. president with no prior public service experience. He was known for cultivating political relationships, learning from his father, Fred Trump, who used connections to benefit his real estate interests. Trump's 2016 presidential campaign focused on issues like immigration, accusing Mexico of exporting drugs, criminals, and rapists. He won the Republican nomination and selected Mike Pence as his vice presidential running mate. Throughout the campaign, Trump's ideas attracted attention, but also faced accusations of racism and intolerance. On November 8, 2016, Donald Trump and Mike Pence secured victory as president and vice president of the United States. Trump's popularity soared due to his staunch stance against illegal immigration and various trade agreements, winning favor especially among white, blue-collar, working-class voters without a college diploma. Fast forward to the 2020 presidential campaign, which centered on future-focused themes. While previous campaigns emphasized building bridges and bringing change, Trump's re-election campaign took a different route with the slogan, Keep America Great. He asserted that he had already made America great and pledged to maintain that greatness. The campaign adopted the motto, Promises Made, Promises Kept, to underscore Trump's commitment. However, in a surprising move, Trump, known for his marketing acumen, announced on May 8th that he was changing his slogan to transition to greatness. His reasoning was that the phrase resonated perfectly and surpassed anything the brightest minds on Madison Avenue could create. Despite these efforts, Trump's re-election campaign was ultimately unsuccessful, and the 2020 election saw Joe Biden and Kamala Harris of the Democratic Party emerge victorious. This marked the first time since 1992 that an incumbent president lost re-election. Shifting gears, let's delve into the historical and religious backdrop of the United States. Despite its relatively short founding history, the U.S. has become a global powerhouse in economics, technology, military, and science. Many attribute this success to the widespread faith in God, with up to 95% of the population, from the common class to the elite, holding strong religious beliefs. This level of religious commitment is somewhat rare on a global scale. In American history, the influence of Christianity is evident. The country's first legislators used the Bible as a standard for establishing laws, and the Spirit of God as expressed in the Bible guided them in solving social problems. The United States Constitution itself is believed to have foundations rooted in these scriptures contributing to the nation's development. Religion plays a crucial role in American society, and the U.S. stands out for its religiosity compared to other wealthy Western countries. The majority of Americans believe in a higher power, engage in spiritual practices, and identify as religious or spiritual. Christianity dominates the religious landscape with evangelicals, mainline Protestants, and Catholics being the most widely declared affiliations. Religious freedom is a cornerstone of American society, guaranteed by the First Amendment to the United States Constitution. The absence of a state church and the separation of church and state have contributed to the country's high level of religiosity steering clear of the religious turmoil seen in European civilizations. Throughout U.S. history, religious diversity has thrived. Various Protestant denominations, Anglicans, Quakers, Mennonites, and contrasting groups from Northwestern Europe shaped the religious landscape during colonial times. The U.S. now boasts the world's largest Christian and Protestant population. Gallup reports that a significant percentage of Americans pray often or occasionally and religion plays an essential role in their lives. Besides Christianity, other religions like Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, and Islam are practiced, each representing a smaller portion of the population. Mississippi holds the title for the most religious state, with 63% of its adult population describing themselves as very religious. In contrast, New Hampshire is the least religious state, with only 20% of its adult population falling into the very religious category. Religion also has a notable presence in Congress, where both Republican and Democratic parties typically nominate Christian candidates. Figures like Martin Luther King Jr., Jimmy Carter, and William Jennings Bryan have left a lasting impact on U.S. politics through their Christian perspectives. The roots of Christianity in America trace back to European colonization, bringing various denominations like Anglican, Puritan, Baptist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, Quaker, and Moravian churches around 1,600s. The five largest Christian denominations include the Catholic Church with 71 million members, the Southern Baptist Convention with 1368049 members, the National Baptist Convention USA Inc. with 841510 members, 
The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints with 692-0086 members. And the United Methodist Church with 5714915 members. The Southern Baptist Convention, boasting over 13 million members, stands as the largest among more than 200 Protestant groups. In 2007, 26% of Americans identified with evangelical churches, 18% with mainline Protestant churches, and 7% with historically black churches. Remarkably, there's a growing number of Christian believers from Muslim backgrounds in the U.S., with estimates exceeding 450,000 on 2015. A notable trend involves conversions, where approximately 180000 Arab Americans and 1300000 Iranian Americans switched from Islam to Christianity by 2010. Some sources suggest that around 2000 Muslims convert to Christianity annually in the U.S. Historically, this mainline Protestant denominations played a pivotal role in American life, contributing leaders in politics, business, science, the arts, and higher education. However, their distinctive identity has waned since the 1960s. The Great Awakening spurred the founding of various Christian organizations, leading to the emergence of new Protestant denominations and non-denominational movements. Additionally, Catholicism saw significant growth, attributed to immigrants from various countries like Ireland, Italy, Portugal, France, Poland, Germany, and Lebanon. Eastern Orthodox Christianity has roots in North America. Since Russian colonization of Alaska in the 19th century, while Alaska remained a presence after becoming a U.S. territory in 1867, the majority of Eastern Orthodox Russian residents returned to Russia. In the late 19th and 20th centuries, a wave of Eastern Orthodox Christian immigrants arrived in the contiguous United States, representing Greek, Ukrainian, Serbian, and other Eastern European backgrounds. In essence, the religious landscape of the United States is diverse, shaped by historical migrations, conversions, and the influence of various denominations. The presence and impact of Christianity and its manifold expressions continue to shape the cultural and religious fabric of the nation. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.